everyone, it's Julia with WIC Review Central YouTube. This is WIC Talk Wednesday. Today, I'm answering a question that a subscriber emailed me. She purchases a lot of Chelsea Smith Cosmetics hair crowns. And she asked me if I've ever purchased one. And I said, no, I never had. And she said, well, I'm curious what the difference is between a Chelsea Smith hair crown and a name brand wig. I thought, well, let's find out. So here we are. I have here the Chelsea Smith Constance wig. This is a beautiful style. Look at the wave pattern. This is made of heat-friendly fiber, Futura fiber, and this particular wig has an extended lace front and then a lace 13 by six parting area. Now I'm going to show you the cap close up on Constance here in a minute, but I just wanna give you a quick overview of these two wigs that we'll be comparing. This is the Beltress Milano style. Milano is from the City Collection. This is also a heat-friendly wig, but instead of being Futura fiber, it is made of a polyester heat-friendly fiber from Japan. Beautiful. Now this style also has an extended lace front, but this has a monofilament part that's hand-tied. So let's take a look at these two and compare the difference. Her question was, why is a Chelsea Smith wig, which is beautiful, $130, and yet a Beltress wig, which is also beautiful, is $404.81. I have cut the lace back on this Chelsea Smith hair crown already so that when I put it on, you can see what the lace front looks like. But here is the ear tab to ear tab lace front. Now the lace is not incredibly soft. Um, it's a medium softness. You have a 13 by six parting area. Instead of ear tabs on the side, the lace front stops here and you have a comb, which will anchor this wig into your own hair. Now that is one of the differences. The Chelsea Smith wigs are hair crowns. They're meant to go over your own hair. At the crown area of the cap, you also have another comb. In the back, you have a comb at the nape to secure it into your hair. You have a very standard fabric nape here, and you have hook adjusters, which allow you to adjust the circumference of the wig cap up to half an inch. You can cinch it, making it tighter or making it looser. And then the Chelsea hair crown also comes with this removable security strap. It's just added security. Let me place this on my head so that you can see what it looks like. This is a 24 inch long heat friendly style. I really do like the wave pattern. This is in the color light brunette blend and the color is very pretty. Now this particular wig has had a lot of shedding. Ooh. The density of Constance is 130 to 140% fiber density. You would think because this has much more density that it would be more expensive, but that's not the case. The Milano wig actually has a much lighter density and overall, I am wearing the Beltress style Milano from the City Collection in the color Coolest Ash Brown. This style has much less density than the Constance wig. It has a length of 20 inches, whereas Constance 
has a length of 24 inches. Some may consider Constance's 13 by 6 parting space to be superior to Milano's hand-tied left-hand side monofilament part. The parting space on Milano, because it's monofilament, it's hand-tied, and there are smaller knots, actually looks more like a natural hair part. Let me show you this wig from all sides and we'll compare it to Milano from all sides. One reason the Chelsea Smith hair crowns are less expensive is that the knots of the synthetic fiber are more noticeable. The technique used to knot the fibers into the lace and thereby crafting the lace front, the lace along the hairline, and the parting space is a less expensive process, which is why you have the knot showing more than they show on the Milano wig. The lace front of Milano looks more like a natural hairline. Different lace front material is used. The knots are smaller. When we look at these two wigs, we consider that the Chelsea Smith Cosmetics Hair Crown Constance has a retail price of $130. The Beltress Milano wig, it has a retail price of $404.81. That, that's a huge difference. And I would love your opinion whether or not you think such a price difference is warranted. Is the Beltress style that much more superior than the Chelsea Smith Constance wig? It's just an interesting topic to ponder. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's Wig Talk Wednesday. I look forward to talking with you about this in the comment section below the video. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribing to my channel is always free and you'll never miss a wig review, wig talk Wednesday, wig color comparison video, live wig sale, a giveaway, and much, much more. Thanks for watching.